Hi, how are you guys doing today? My name is Savannah. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. Both of my uh, links and everything will be down below. For those of you who do know who I am, hello, welcome back, and I hope you guys are ready for another haul video. Um, this is gonna be a long one. I got 95 pounds of clothing, shoes, and purses from the Goodwill outlet, and I hope you don't mind that my golden doodle is joining us uh he refused to go upstairs so he wanted to be in the hall much like denali's dogs if you know denali el ducho um my dogs just love to be in the halls so uh he might be popping in here and there but i got a bunch of great stuff i spent 125 dollars total i'm just gonna get right into the hall because i know that's what you guys are here for so let's go let's start with the shoes bags um, accessories I guess I try to separate all of my clothes and shoes and bags and all that um, into separate bags when I'm at the Goodwill outlet because typically the shoes and stuff have a little bit of cleaning and stuff I have to do um, just to restore them and then the clothes can just go in the wash or whatever I do with them so all right uh, first pair of shoes are these adorable Kate Spade flats and somebody messaged me that they had just found these um yesterday as well which is super random at a thrift store and uh i totally forget what they're called but she gave me the name so i'm gonna have to check my messages they have like an 80 dollar price tag writing on the bottom but they are a size nine and a half rose gold pointed flats um I'll probably list these around $50 they do have some wear on the toes but I love these uh I want to buy these for my wedding shoes I think because rose gold is one of our colors and I think these shoes are so cute so yeah um if anyone has them in a 10 and a half or a 10 let me know um the next pair of shoes or boots uh somebody tossed back and I just happened to be there at the right time. It's another pair of Freebirds. If you follow me on Instagram, which is at Street Savvy, which you should follow me on if you're not, um, I posted a couple videos of these beauties yesterday. They are Freebird. I just hit myself in the face with one of these <laughs> strings. So let's be careful. Um, they are Freebird thigh high suede boots that are really washing me out. I'm going to look on the inside and see if I can see what the style is. But yeah, I have no idea why somebody tossed these back. I think these are the Brock because I was doing some research last night, but I cannot find the imprint. Um, okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little more looking to see what the actual style is because... It's really hard to see on black leather. But, uh, I can't believe somebody tossed these back. They're in really good shape. They do have, like, minimal signs of wear. But honestly, most Freebirds are meant to look distressed. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research and just see if, like, it's supposed to look a little distressed around the toe. But these are selling for around $300. Uh, I'm probably going to list mine in the high hundreds. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm like three for three. I think my last three bin trips, I've gotten free words. Or at least, I think I've gotten them at least two of the three. I don't know. But <laughs> I was really excited to find them again. Uh, the next pair of boots is a brand I've never picked up before, but I've heard of it. And it is uh, John Fluvlog. I probably said that really wrong. Um, hopefully you can see that. But they're these adorable little leather ankle boots. And these are a size 7. And I'm probably going to list these around 40 to start. Next pair of boots I just uh, threw at the wall are these adorable Steve Madden boots with like little perforated detail. These are a size, size nine and a half. These are the Aero, A-R-A, A-R-O-W-E. There we go. 
I can read, I promise. Um, but they're really cute. And I don't pick up all Steve Madden, but if they're adorable and in great shape, which these were, I will pick it up. This is a brand I have never grabbed before, but they are so cute. So the brand is Kelsey Dagger. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. It's like a reflective logo. Eh, you probably can't see it. But they're these adorable little side zip boots. And look at the little charms. There's a skull. It's so cute. And these are a size nine and it looked like these were selling for about fifty dollars so that's probably what I'll list mine at they're really cute and they're just like nice quality like the leather is very soft um, that is why I grabbed them just because I felt the nice leather another nice pair of leather shoes these are J crew factory and they have the little little diamonds on the bottom, so you know they're J. Crew Factory. Um, but they're a nice leather pointed toe loafer. Um, they're black. They are a size eight. So it's actually on the bottom. Yeah, all J. Crew stuff will have a style number. So there's a little style number code, whatever, and the inside of the tongue. I will just pop that into Google and see what style these are. Um, I'm going to probably list these around 30 to 40. The J. Crew um, shoes typically do pretty well for me. Just kind of depends on the style. Okay. Um, the next couple pairs of shoes do have some wear, but they're just good brands, so I grab them. This is a pair of Tory Burch Riva flats, and they have wear on the toes and on the back. Um, they looked a lot worse, but I put a little bit of leather polish to them and they did clean up pretty nicely, but they definitely still have wear. You can see there's even like some breakthrough on the back. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting to get anything crazy for these. I'll probably list them around $25. I'm just hoping <laughs> that I can see the size. Usually the size for Tory Burch Rivas is going to be right in the inner toe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do some investigating because usually it rubs off. <laughs> so um, if that's the case, then I'll just have to measure and yeah, that's kind of a bummer if I can't find the size, but whatever. Um, these are a pair of Bally or Bally, B-A-L-L-Y. I have never found this brand before, but I have heard of it. And um, they're a women's leather sneaker like fashion sneaker and they definitely have signs of wear um mostly on like the white leather which i think i might get a white leather polish that i've heard can buff out like those lines in white leather but um these retailed for probably over 400 dollars. very high-end brands and i will list these for around 40 to 50 even with the wear Right, these cute little booties. I think I've sold these before. I forget what they're called, but they have a little style code, so I'll look it up. They are Cole Haan, um, the Grand OS boots, um, little side zip, ankle boots. They are a size seven, and I usually start these at around $40. They have a little bit of wear though, so maybe like 35 on these, um, but they're still super cute. Lots of life left. All right, I have never heard of this brand, but these were just so crazy and they felt like quality, so I had to look them up. Um, this is what they look like. Obviously a boot with this metal heel. Super crazy. You can see that. And almost like a metal detail around the edge. Uh, the brand is Eject. That's what the bottoms look like. So yeah, they're super unique boots and very expensive retail. Some of these boots were going for three to four hundred dollars. Hard to see with the size. It looks like these are a size 39, but I'll have to look a little bit more. There's a couple numbers there, um, but they're super unique. I'm probably going to start these around a hundred. 
Uh, they have very minimal signs of wear, but that might even be the style because they are kind of like a distressed look. So yeah, super cool. Um, if anyone's ever heard of the brand Eject, let me know because it's very cool looking. Very intrigued. <laughs> um, this is a pair of Cole Haan excellent condition little peep toe espadrille wedges and these are a size nine and they also have a style code that i'll have to look up but they're in really good shape super cute i'll start these at around forty dollars just because they're in excellent condition they do have like the remnants of like an insole like somebody put um one of those like comfort strips or whatever they're called in the shoe so I'll just have to use some goo gone and go at it with the paper towel all right this is a pair of Allen Edmonds which is a brand that used to sell super super well for me but I think it's because I was getting the right styles then I just kind of got sloppy and was getting all of them and not all the styles sell really well so I found that if they have their own little style name below Allen Edmonds that typically it's worth picking up. Um, so these are the Berkshire and they're just a really nice suede. Uh, I wouldn't call them wingtip, maybe like an Oxford um, dress shoe. They are a smaller size. I can tell <laughs> if I could find the size. Um, I can tell they're smaller just by looking at them, maybe like a nine and a half, but I have sold a pair of Allen Edmonds similar to this for over $100, so I'm going to list these at around $90 and see what happens. Alright, then I got a pair of Ugg boots that I need to get listed ASAP because um, it is getting warm in some places. Not here, but some places it is. Um, so this is a really cute pair of Ugg boots with um, like the black suede and little buckles. They're in really great shape. You can see the Sherpa is in good shape. Um, the tag does kind of look a little weird, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have to do some investigating and triple check that these are real. Uh, they definitely feel real, but I don't wanna sell anything fake ever, ever. So we're gonna look these up. Probably should have done that at the bins, but that's okay. I didn't have time. <laughs> When you have this much stuff, sometimes some things just uh, slip through the cracks. Um, this is an amazing condition pair of Birkenstocks that one of my friends at the outlet gave to me. I have no idea why he did not want them, but they are in excellent shape. They're a size 40. Um, I think these are, these aren't the Mayari. Oh, I am totally blanking on the name but it is on the tip of my tongue what the style is, but it's like the thong gladiator sandal. And yeah, they're in pretty good shape. The bottoms have like some wear, but yeah, the tops are in great condition. So I'm gonna start these at around 45 to $50. All right, another pair of J. Crew factory shoes. These are a size eight um, and they're a little suede peep toe. Uh, ankle strap kind of like a little wedge but they're really cute simple next is a bag my friend gave me um so i think this was probably custom made by somebody they just probably had the backpack and got it embroidered because i tried to look up the brand and see much on it it is gypsy rose which is just it's made in nepal um handmade so I don't know, it's like a nice backpack. It's like a corduroy blue backpack, but it has Grateful Dead Bears embroidered all over the front. And it is so adorable. There's no holes or anything. There is a little bit of wear on the back. I honestly don't know what this is. It's like, it feels like dried adhesive or something like that, but the bag was so cute. I just couldn't pass it up. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna list this at. I'll probably start it at around like $40 and just see, see where the market takes it. <laughs> some of those deadheads can be a little crazy about their merch. So some of it can go for a lot of money <laughs> and understandably so I got a big following. Um, okay. This is a brand I have never heard of, but this bag I am absolutely in love with. 
It is amazing quality leather. It's super soft and it has like this little buckle kind of detail. It almost reminds me of like the Gucci horse bits. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Woke up the dog. Um, but it has, I'm not sure if this is like a personalized heat stamp. This is the actual brand. So it is Saula del Cuyo. And I looked up this brand and the comps were so all over the place. Like there was one listed at $1,000 and there were some listed at like 100, less than 100, 400. So I have no idea, but this bag is beautiful and it's in beautiful condition. Um, I'll probably start it at around 120. I don't know. I need to do more research. <laughs> so that's probably like a bad comp guesstimate, but there it's, it's all over the place. I don't know. I really don't. So yeah. Um, okay. Two more things. Oh, that are under all these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this somebody tossed back and it was just in excellent condition, so I had to get it. It's just a simple coach leather bag with the brown handle. Um, it has the little coach um, and it has the creed inside, everything you want to see. So I think it is missing a little key fob on there, but excellent condition. So I'll price this around $25. And then a brand I don't find often, but I always get excited when I find it. This thing probably cost, cost me like $8. I don't know. It's heavy. It's real heavy, but it's a Tumi, T-U-M-I, laptop case, briefcase. So um, this brand, they sell like suitcases all sorts of travel equipment. I've sold like camera cases from them. Um, it is very expensive and I know they have some kind of technology where you can like register your product and there's like a barcode in one of these pockets. That's what I'm trying to show you. So like you can register their products online. I don't really know, but it's super nice. And this will sell for over a hundred dollars. I'm saying it, so it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love finding to me, and it was definitely worth whatever I paid because I will make more than that back. This is another moth. Anthropology, size small. Um, it's like this pumpkin-y orange <laughs> knit sweater, and this one needs to be washed. There's kind of some weirdness on it, so it's going, going in that pile. Um, but it's really cute. This is another anthropology piece. I guess I'm just going to pull them out all in a row. And this one is Angel of the North. I love this sweater. It is a size small. It is a mustardy yellow, yet again. And I'm not sure what the style name is. It has pockets. Um, this is what the back looks like. But I'm probably going to start this at about 40. It's really cute. This is inside out, but it is a men's um, just Nike running shirt. Just long sleeve, dry fit, extra large. I'm pretty sure it was from that guy. <laughs> the guy that you will uh, come to know later in the haul. Um, this is a Calypso St. Barth, which I actually got in my last haul. But this is a cashmere sweater, so um, it is a size medium and it's washing me out, <laughs> but I will sell that for about $30. This is a pair of Lane Bryant, size 14, stretchy pull-on legging pants. They're like this metallic black and gold. Super nice, probably about $20. This is uh, one of my favorite brands to sell on eBay. It is Jamie Sadock, and it is like an athletic brand. I know they sell a lot of like golf and tennis wear for women, um, but this is like a really fun, fluffy, full zip coat. Um, it is a size large, so it's just 100% polyester, but it's like this pink and black shaggy, I don't know, it's really fun. Um, it'll probably sell for about 40 to $50. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research, but super cool style 
Okay, this is more from that guy. <laughs> the rich guy that donated all his stuff. Um, this is a Lululemon men's t-shirt of some kind. <laughs> um, it has like navy and gold metallic stripes. You can't really see it. Um, I believe it's an extra large because it was all from the same guy, but I will have to do more looking. It definitely looks like an extra large and I'll probably price this at about $45. I like that turnaround because it probably cost me 50 cents. So I cannot complain. Um, this is a cashmere something. Oh, I've actually sold this brand before and it was cashmere. It is pure Amici or Amici, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's this really pretty turtleneck cashmere kind of like poncho sweater super gorgeous super soft i'll probably list it at about 40. this coat is adorable but somebody's cat like laid on it so it needs to be dry cleaned um it is a j crew i'm not even sure the size because it's kind of faded but it's this adorable toggle coat it's olive green gorgeous once it gets dry cleaned I will list it for like 65 it's really cute but somebody's cat really liked it <laughs> and uh, yeah it's a little hairy um, this is a pair of American Eagle skinny jeans there's the stress these are the high-rise jegging which is even better this is like my favorite style to sell and these are a size eight long and they're long, which is even better. So I'll probably list these for about 25. Got another men's Lululemon. I think this is the tech shirt. Um, it has like little stripes, three stripes. And this one actually has the size on the inside. Somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. So it's a 2XL. So the other one might be a 2XL as well, which is even better. And I will list this for about $50, which is crazy because it's just a t-shirt, but uh, it's a nice color and it's a tech tee. So we're gonna start it at 50 and see what happens. This is another Lululemon shirt, men's. It's like a little logo. And I'm assuming it's a 2XL again, but I'm going to have to look for sizes. Um, this is a Charlie and Robin, which is sold at Anthropology. A uh, little knit sweater coat. It's a little brown color. Um, it's cute. It has like a little button detail. If I list it for around 30. What size was that? Size medium. Right, um, I have sold this brand before, and I think it's sometimes sold at Anthropology, but it is Henry, <laughs> Henry and Belle, and it's just an excellent condition pair of super skinny jeans. They're a size 27, and I'll probably list them for around 25. Right, Under Armour women's very neon uh pink loose sweatshirt it's a little logo um i'll list that for about 20. pull from my pile this is a free people size medium it's this white really flowy uh tunic top wow it's really it is really bright but um, it's in really good condition. It's like this thick knit. I'm gonna have to look up the style, but I'll list it for around 25. Just a pair of American Eagle shorts. They have really fun patchwork all over them. And they are a size 10. And I'll list these at about $21. These are really fun. These are Nike men's shorts. 
Um, they have like kind of that serape like blanket look. Um, the logo does have a little bit of issues now that I'm looking at it, but um, they're still pretty nice. I think they'll still sell. It's a size medium, men's, and I'll probably list them for around 20 just because there's some issues on the uh, logo. Next thing is this Under Armour women's <laughs> little tank top. It's a size medium, little razor back. And I usually list tank tops for about like 16. This is uh, Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. <laughs> I feel like a beauty guru. <laughs> No, um, I don't know if you can see the tag, but it's a gorgeous navy polka dot little dress with a piece of grass on it. But it is a size large, and I will sell this for about twenty dollars. All right, and Urban Outfitters uh, snap down mustard kind of velvety skirt it's a size medium adorable and I'll list it for about 20 another one a lululemon men's um, I don't think this is the tech tee I'm gonna have quite the time figuring these out <laughs> but uh, I am okay with it because hopefully they make me good money and most of them I'll price around 40 to $50 so just around there um, oh, This my friend gave me which is a menswear brand that I have only found once it is Ike Behar New York it is just this uh, window pane plaid pink and white dress shirt it is a size 16 and a half, uh, 34, and I'll probably list this at about 35. I got a couple new with tag Target swimsuit tops. I might keep one of them, because I think one of them's my size. Um, but they are super strappy and fun. The back is kind of hard to see, because it's like going all over the place, but it's all caged and cute <laughs> and new. Um, this is another really caged little bra. Wow. This is when you're like praying there's a stock photo because how is this going to photograph? <laughs> um, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I hope there's a stock photo for Poshmark. Uh, it's a size small. And it's really cute on, I'm sure. <laughs> but showing you like that, it does not look very pretty. <laughs> Um, this is a LuLaRoe, I think it's called the Amy, yes, I have never found anything like this from LuLaRoe. It's a boxy button down shirt is what my friend said and that is totally what it is. It is a purple little tie dye blouse, size medium, new with tags, and I guess these sell pretty well so I'm going to list this at about 35 Um, yeah, it's really pretty. I would probably wear that piece from LuLaRoe. That says something. This is a pair of AG jeans. They are the Prima Mid-Rise Cigarette white jeans. These do have some staining. It's very light, um, but I'm gonna go through and clean them. I think I'll be able to get the stains out just fine. And thought it was worth a shot. Um, they are also a size 29. So as long as they come clean, I should get about 35 for these. This I am probably keeping. It is a Life is Good Colorado t-shirt. And this is a good brand to resell too. Life is good. It is so good. Um, this is a pair of Hudson bootcut jeans. Why is everything drowning me out? <laughs> um, they're really cute, size 28, flat pockets. Pretty standard. I usually list these at about 25. This is a 
made well. Short sleeve, open back top. This does have one super tiny hole in the front, uh, somewhere right here. Has a little pinhole, but I still think it'll sell. It's a size small. I think this is perfect for spring. So I'll probably list it at about mm, just below $20. Okay, this was new with tags, and honestly, mm, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, well, first of all, it needs to be zipped, so let's do that. It's like a little bralette type top. Stand by, please. Just, just one minute. Um, come on. What's my hair doing? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay. This is a really cute, actually, now that I have it zipped. It is a, is it Rachel? Rachel, Rachel Roy. Maybe if I just do this. <laughs> so it's this little black um, crop top. I wonder if it was like a two piece set. It's a size zero. Um, but yeah, brand new with tags. They are just hidden in the inside, so. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna get for that. Maybe $20? I've never even sold Rachel by Rachel Roy. I just saw new with tags and I got it. It's a pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans, which I don't pick up very much anymore, even though they still sell, just not for a lot. Um, but this was a good size. It's a 14 petite and they're the Samantha Slim. They're in really good shape. They don't have any of like the puckering or rippling that you sometimes see in Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Paige Denim also gets them horribly, um, but these are in excellent shape, so. I'll list them at about 20 and probably get like 15. <laughs> That's usually what they sell for. But. I paid probably a dollar, so it's okay. This is an Athleta size, extra, extra small, tan knit sweater. About $20 for that. That's mine. <laughs> that I took off while shopping and hopefully did not pay for. Um, this is a pair of Diane. I'm just going to try and duck out of the frame. Diane von Furstenberg. Can you see that? Maybe. Just maybe. Um, they're a pair of navy Diane von Furstenberg size 2 trousers. They're skinny, they're real nice, they're drowning me out. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to send those into Thread Up Lux because I am putting together a box. I've been putting together a box for a couple months now <laughs> um, and I need to send it off. But that might be a good item to throw in there so I don't know, we'll see. This is a pair of Ivanka Trump. These look very similar actually to the last pair of pants. They're just a navy skinny trouser, uh, size 12, so a great size. And I'll list these for about 25. All right, um, this is a brand that apparently is sold at a boutique. I completely forget what the boutique is called, but Latisse, uh, financially fit millennial, was shopping with me and said it was good. <laughs> so it is Allison J. And it was recently dry cleaned. It's this silk black floral blouse. I should make sure it's silk. It feels like silk, but probably polyester. Yep, it's polyester. But it's still super cute. It's an extra small little button down. So I'll probably price that for $20. I'm not really familiar with that brand though. Um, and this is also a new one for me, but apparently it's good. It is Orla Keeley, Kelly, Keeley. It's a size four. Um, it's a wool pattern sweater and I'm gonna price this at about 30. Oh, this is adorable. Little mini Bowden. It's like a little, little beetle bug convertible shirt. And some of these do really good. Um, this is, looks like it's a five to six year shirt, um, but I'll probably price it for like 20. This 
is a super fun plus size shirt. Um, it is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's one of their non-iron shirts. And it is a 3X. And I just love the print. And it feels like it's like new. Um, it's in excellent condition. So I thought this would be really fun for the springtime. Somebody wants it. And I'll list it for about 20. This is a pair of North Face pants. And I remember these had a little bit of staining, but it looked really light. So I will just remove it. Um, they are size large. And these are like the zip off convertible um, hiking pants. So you can like zip off the legs and turn them into shorts. And you can see the staining, but I think it's gonna come right out. So um, hopefully if that comes out, I'll list these at about 40. These kind of pants do extremely well for me, especially the ones with like a little belt. Um, I know they probably have a name, but usually I don't use the name. I just say convertible pants or zip off pants and they sell, so whatever. Um, this is 41 Hawthorne, which is sometimes sold at Stitch Fix, but I just really like this piece. It's like triple layered and it's this white top. It's kind of ribbed on top and then has like all these layers can see all that but it's really comfy it's a size small and I'll probably price it at about 18 to 20 this is a pair of American Eagle olive green cuffed shorts um, they are the midi shorts actually and they are a size 10 and most American Eagle shorts I price at about like 16 to 20. These ones I'll price at 20 because they're a nice style and a nice color and they're in really good shape. And they're a good size. These are adorable. <laughs> J. Crew size 10 little eye cat patterned shorts. Um, I think these are linen or like a linen blend. I don't see the fabric tag, but. I love the black label J. Crew, and these are really cute. Perfect for like spring break. So this is called Penny Dreadful, and I think it's one of um, one of those like rockabilly type brands. But it's very unique. It has like this little lace collar, and these look like I think they're scorpions all over. So it's this little dress. I thought it was really fun. I think it'll sell on Poshmark because it's very unique. It's a size large, but it definitely looks a little bit smaller than a large. Eh, I don't know. I'll have to measure it. These are for me. <laughs> They're just Gilligan O'Malley, new with tags. Little pajama pants, but they are so soft and very light. They probably cost me like a quarter, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Um, this is a pair of vintage Levi's super distressed uh, shorts. They do have like some holes, but I'm going to cut them a little bit more and they will sell. They are orange tab Levi's. It says size 32, but you always have to measure the waist because they shrink and vintage sizing is usually a little bit different than current sizing. This is a Madewell striped long sleeve little high low top and i'll list that at about 20 probably around there this is a under armor white sports bra it is a size medium another one of those target swim tops brand new with tags it, and the brand is shade and shore probably should have said that <laughs> this one's a 38d and I'm gonna try to list these at about 20 and just see where it, see where it goes. Um, this is the brand Tadashi. And this is really pretty. It is a halter beaded black top. This would look so pretty with like a pleated high waist skirt like a black pleated high waist skirt. You can make so many cute two piece sets with this. This is what the back looks like. 
Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm probably gonna start it at about 40. I love it. And let me see what size it is. Well, it looks like the size was cut out, so gonna have to do some measuring, but um, it looks to be like a large, maybe a medium. I will measure. This is a brand new with tags, Adidas, Miami, women's uh, athletic shirt. It is a size extra large. That's the Clima Cool shirt. And I'll start this at about 20. There are so many clothes around me, but I have not lost the golden doodle yet. He's still not buried, so it means we can continue. <laughs> but he's chilling. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten up and barked during this haul. <laughs> this is another Nike dry fit men's inside out long sleeve shirt from Lululemon Man. This was also from Lululemon Man and it's kind of inside out. Um, it is a maroon and gray, extra, extra large. Or this one's just extra large. Long sleeve shirt. And I'll price this at about 25. A pair of amazing condition <laughs> Levi's 501s and these are like a women's size they are a size 30 but they're definitely a little bit tinier in the waist and they are the traditional button fly high waist like mom jeans and they're in excellent excellent condition so um, I usually list these for about 50 This is a pair of American Eagle, and they're the kick boot jeans, even though they look like khakis. <laughs> um, they're the kick boot, and I almost didn't get these because I thought it was kind of weird that they're like khakis, <laughs> um, but they are super stretch, and they are a size 14 extra long, so I thought that would make them desirable. They are in excellent condition, like they don't feel like they were worn very much at all. Oh no, I see a stain on this. <laughs> um, it's an Ella Moss little white top with a big stain on the back. So I'll see if I can get it out. If not, it's okay. I didn't pay that much. That's what I gotta say to myself. <laughs> um, this is a Crew Cut, which is a J. Crew, um, their kids line. And this is a girl size 12 adorable striped cotton dress the back has this gold zipper it's really cute and i'll list that at about 25. so this i grabbed blindly and i was so proud of myself when i saw what it was cloth and stone so if you've ever felt this brand you know what it feels like it's like chambray soft amazingness this is a size small and i'll probably list this at about 35. um just yeah their chambray button down shirt right uh next is a men's patagonia nano puff jacket and if you follow me on instagram you probably saw me freaking out about this thing the men's extra large red nano puff jacket and this is from the same guy that had the Lululemon. All of it was in the same area. I want to know him personally. So every time he donates his clothes, he can just donate them to me. <laughs> he's got a, he's got a nice wardrobe full of expensive stuff. <laughs> um, this is a brand I had never heard of, but wow, was I shocked. It is called Aviator. Um, Aviator Nation and this is called like the smiley face something something <laughs> I saw the sweatpants they were auctioning starting at $75 pre-owned so I don't know if this is like a crazy gem um, maybe $75 for this I just got a piece of glitter in my eye from something in that bag okay or something in my eye, but um, this might be really good. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. 
Um, this is a Nike dry fit, short sleeve, basic shirt. It is a size extra large. I'm pretty sure it was from that same guy. That one actually looks like a women's extra large, so maybe not. Um, this is a Old Navy, brand new with tags. Gorgeous, cold shoulder dress. And new with tags, Old Navy has been selling for me on eBay. So, um, it was an extra large, and I just had to pick it up. I think it'll do good for spring. I got a couple little boy shirts um, that I'm just going to bundle. So, this is a little Nike size small. They're both size small. Uh, tank top and this little Nike Air. So I'm just going to stick those in a bundle together for probably around like 15 ish dollars and see what happens. Um, so this is a brand new with tags. It's just Francesca's or Francesca, Fran Francesca's, whatever. That boutique that sells really cute gifts. You know what I'm talking about. It was originally $34, um, but it's just a really cute stretch skirt. Has a tied little bow thing that goes around the waist. It's like this little chambray look. Uh, I thought it was cute. It is a size medium. Yep, size medium. It's a pair of J. Crew men's, um, the Sutton distressed straight leg jeans. And these are a size. 3032. I'll list them at about $26.98. That's one of my favorite prices to price things at. $26.98. Um, this is the Fisher Project, which is Eileen Fisher. I have never found the Fisher Project, but it's a super open knit uh, black sweater. And the size tag was conveniently cut off. So it appears to be a medium or large, but I'll have to do some more investigating. Right, next is this extra large Nike cotton t-shirt. And I think this might be women's, but I'm not sure. It's like just like that gray shirt, I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, so I picked this up just because the embroidery was really pretty and I was like, maybe it's Johnny Was. <laughs> well, it's not Johnny Was. Um, this is what the tag says, Kate. And then I saw this inside tag and it's Athleta. So yeah, there's the Athleta tag on the inside. So this must be like some special line for um, Athleta, but it's gorgeous. And if it was my size, I would keep it. It's size medium, but it's super long, full zip. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So hopefully this is a good piece. I have never heard of Kate for Athleta, so it's really pretty regardless and I'm assuming it'll sell for over 40 but I don't know these are Banana Republic um, women's jeans I believe they're women's they might be men's I don't know <laughs> there's a, a lot of things I'm questionable on this haul which usually does not happen to me but some of these things it's hard and then you have to go like dig in style numbers and got to do what you got to do to make sure <laughs> Make sure you list it right. Um, but these are a really nice pair of straight leg jeans. They look like men's, but they're a size 28, which is really tiny for men's. So I don't know, I'm conflicted. But they're in excellent condition, so I got them. And I will figure out what gender they are for. Uh, this is a Free People denim skirt with this braided detail on the top. I think it's adorable. It's a size two. And I will start it at around $30. This is an Anthropology brand. It is holding horses. It is a size zero, but this definitely looks larger than a size zero. Um, it's this olive green dress, uh, long sleeves. It's really pretty. 
pretty basic, but um, has like a little bit of detail around the neck. And I'll probably start that at about 40. So this was shocking <laughs> to find. It is Helmet, Helmet Lang. And it does have some issues. Like right now I'm seeing there's a little hole. But it is a silk button down blouse, sleeveless blouse. And it has, yeah, it has wear, but I just saw the tag and was sticker shocked, I think. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it'll still sell. I don't know how much, but this is my favorite thing I got. Hey, Colorado's for hustlers. I posted this on Instagram, but uh, I'm definitely keeping this. Even though it's a medium, I'll make it work. <laughs> I think somebody must have got this like screen printed, unless American Eagle Outfitters sells this shirt. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was so perfect, especially when I was hustling my butt off at the bins. I was there all day, pretty much when I got this stuff, you guys. So like 10-ish hours, <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> way too long um but yeah hannah anderson adorable flamingo prince dress and this is a size 140 which oh i feel like it's a size 12 or 14 um but i'll have to look it up i forget it's so cute oh i love certain hannah anderson pieces so this is a Vineyard Vines kid size large. And so it did have some issues. I think there were a couple stains, but since it was a kid shirt, I'm like someone probably would just want this for their kid to like play tennis in because it's a tennis shirt. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. So I got it. And I'll maybe get 15 ish dollars. This is uh, another anthropology brand. It is Etois. This is a size 8. It's a little cropped button coat. It's cute. It definitely is an older piece, but I picked it up. This is a Prana women's athletic black hoodie, and it is a size large, and I'll start this at about $22. All right, another Adidas Climalite, new with tags. It's an extra large women's black athletic top, which has deodorant on it. Ew. Yes, so it's clearly tried on, but Adidas, new with tag. Next, <laughs> thank you, next. Um, this is a 41 Hawthorne extra large gorgeous tunic blouse it's this pink and white pattern with this keyhole open back adorable i'll price it at about 20 bucks my friend gave this to me because it had like a little bit of wear but um it's definitely still worth getting because it is smart wool it is a size medium uh it has all these little paddles on it but it's the merino wool that smart wool's known for and i think it's a women's size medium but it might be men's <laughs> is that the theme of this haul or what <laughs> um but oh no it says men's okay thank god for a brand that actually puts men's next to the size okay it's a men's men's size medium case closed and i will list it for about 20 bucks <laughs> This is a BDG, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. It is a size medium, super soft flannel shirt with like this fuzzy detail. It's so soft. And um, I already said it was a size medium. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna list this at about 20, 20 to 25. Hopefully I can find a cute stock picture because it's real cute. Um. This is In Bloom by John John Kui. I think it's a boutique brand. Um, I think this is like a wedding like robe. 
maybe while you're getting ready or whatever, but it has really pretty eyelet lace. My mother, or mother-in-law, my future mother-in-law, she already bought me a gorgeous one of these for our wedding or else I would keep this. Um, but it is a size, oh, it's a size small, so a little too tiny, but it's still gorgeous and someone will want it for their big day. So next I have a Patagonia Capoline women's size medium base layer shirt. This actually has to be a kid's. It says medium. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a kid's. <laughs> uh, I was like, that is way too tiny. But it's pink, super cute, and I'll list it at about 18. Since it's only a, it's a little girl, it's not an adult. But it's still worth getting. Um, this is the brand Wooden Ships. I could tell by feeling this. <laughs> Uh, just because they have like all their pieces have like this open knit and it's like a mohair blend so it all feels real nice but uh, these pieces sell super consistently for me even like really tiny pieces I've gotten from them usually for around like 20 bucks nothing crazy but um, they're pretty light so it's worth getting for me um, a Patagonia women's extra large green short sleeve like athletic top I don't think this is Kapoline no it's not just an athletic top um so this is I think it's a local boutique in Denver or it might be online it's Evervive um or Ever Ever Eve something like that um but this top is brand new it's like this knit long sleeve gray shirt and it has like this little tie detail it's super cute it is a size extra small but it looks a little bit bigger maybe like a small um i just thought it was gorgeous i don't really know how much stuff at the store goes for um but i'm probably gonna start this at about 35 just because it's a really cute style and it's really nice quality just feel it <laughs> um this is a ted baker men's dress shirt um it is a size three and Ted Baker sizing which I think is a medium but I'm gonna have to look um, it's just a white little floral accented shirt oh it actually does have the flip cuff too so has a little flip cuff detail so I'll definitely put that keyword in the listing um, yeah really nice men's shirt um, I'll probably list it at about thirty dollars this is one of my favorite pieces that I got on this trip just because I am obsessed with hot air balloons. And it is Field Flower by Anthropology. This gorgeous tunic with hot air balloons all over it. It is a size small and I feel like this might be a really good piece. Um, I'm assuming I'll start it at at least 50 but if it's rare, I don't know, it might be worth a little bit more. So. We'll see, fingers crossed, but either way, super cute, and it will be a really cute addition to my closet and my store. Uh, this is a Toad & Co. Oh, hello. <laughs> a Toad & Co. A little pocket dress. I totally forget what the style is called, but I have sold it before, and it is a size extra small. Uh, brand new with tags, pair of universal threads, size 26 shorts, and I just thought they were good to get because they're a plus size and just a really basic style and new with tags. Um, a little J. Crew white polka dot skirt. Uh, it's like white and gray, and it's a size eight. And I'll list that at about 18. And last but certainly not least, I have this Victoria's Secret Sport adorable sports bra. So it has this uh, floral detail and a mesh back. It is a size small. And I will list it at about $20. All right, so while I have quite the mound of clothes next to me now so I'm gonna get to listing and getting some of this stuff ready for my lister to take pictures of um, I am planning on doing a video on my lister and 
everything, all those little details, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Uh, hopefully they're not getting repetitive, but it just keeps getting better at the bins. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to say. They're just been, they've been good. <laughs> they've been so good. And if I lived in Denver, my butt would be there every single day. So I'm really jealous of the people that do live in Denver. But uh, hopefully you guys are all having a great week and a great week of sales and just a great week in general. Bye guys.